Hey there, what's going on guys? My name is Crazy Bye, and today we're going to be talking about the best class to actually get assassinations in Titanfall 2. This class is pretty much just be your average assassin class. You can sneak up behind enemies, you can now you can take cover, easily take them out without them knowing and without them noticing you. So yeah guys, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. We're getting close, we're on the road to 500 subscribers and I'm very grateful. So yeah. Guys, without further ado guys, let's get into this class. It's honestly probably one of my favorite classes. I was just playing, you know, randomly Saturday night and I was trying to get my inner pieces assassination. I know it just came out, but I was trying to get that inner pieces assassination kit the takedown so it took me around like three to four games of me actually trying and I got around 15 assassinations in one game using this class it's insane and it works really well you can definitely sneak behind enemies it works really well on bigger maps I find rather than smaller maps. So yeah but then for you guys let's get right into the class so yeah this is the class that up here we got the uh it's really stealthy okay so this is pretty much the assassin class it's really good for sneaking up as you can see we got a suppressor on this pistol you can change this class up a lot, to be honest, like, well, whatever, I don't recommend using hover, I just use hover because I don't have low profile yet. I just regenerated my pilot, but, uh, if you have low profile, go ahead, purchase it if you need it, but I do recommend using it if you're playing a game mode with titans. I do not, so I just use hover, just so then I can, you know, juke the enemies a little bit, if you can say, but, uh, yeah, I use hover for that, so... Coming in, guys, we have phase shift because if if there's if there's an enemy seeing you and you want to easily get around them, you can just phase shift around them. I used to use stim, but I don't find that helpful anymore. You can use pulse blade, up to you. I just like to use phase shift because if there is, is is an enemy seeing you, you can just phase shift and get right around them, and it really does help you in the battle. So phase shift. We rock in the R two O one now. I believe this thing just got a buff, or it. Sorry about that, but I, I think it just got a buff actually. It might have gotten a little bit stronger. If it did, I mean, it's up to you if you want to use whatever gun you want. I recommend an SMG though. Something like the Volk would help. The Volt. The Volt. Uh, the Alternator could help. The car. I just like the R97 because it has the fastest fire in the game. And if an enemy does compromise your position, you can just easily take him down because it has such a fast fire rate. And because it has such a fast fire rate, it has a lot of recoil, which is why I use the Hollow Sight. And, uh, I just find that it helps me in the recoil. If you don't like it, obviously, once again, you can change it up to, like, a threat scope if you want, or HCOG Ranger. I don't use a threat scope just because it disables an extra mod slot, so I like to use extra ammo and speed loader. Just because, you know, even if we do get into a good engagement with some pilots, I still like to have a lot of ammo in my gun. And sadly, there's no suppressor. I hope they do add suppressor in the future for these. Uh, any other gun other than pistols because suppressors are really good and they keep you off the enemy radar so for now I just use extra ammo and speed loader so then I always have bullets in my gun and then I'm always ready to pull it out if someone does get into my position and if someone does actually notice me when I'm trying to flank behind them. We've got just you know just some camos here so coming in done we have the P2016 2016 I guess and uh, I don't know if that was actually made like purposely named that I know I don't know if this gun was in Titanfall 2, uh, 1, I forget actually, to be honest, but if this is a new gun, it's kind of funny how they made it 2016, because that's when the game actually came out, so, kind of funny, I mean, I guess, I never knew that, to be honest, correct me if I'm wrong if it was in Titanfall 1, I don't know though, but, uh, we got suppressor on it, the only attachment I use, this, okay, this pistol is probably the strongest pistol I have ever used, okay, I know the Wingman Elite is stronger, and I know that's pretty much it. The Wingman Elite is stronger, I guess, and so is the B3 Wingman. The Wingmans are stronger, okay? The Wingmans are way stronger, but, 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 they're revolvers, okay? This is just a semi-auto pistol. These are revolvers, okay? These are harder to use. They're semi-auto. Like, you have to actually, like, wait a second to shoot your other bullet again. You can't really rapid fire them with a good trigger finger. That being said, this pistol right here, you can easily trigger finger it and uh, pop a lot of damage. You can get way more shots out of a Hammond, I think it's a Hammond, P2016. You get way more shots out of this gun than you could with a Wingman if you just keep persistently shooting it for like a full minute. So, I like this gun a lot better than those guns. Personal preference, once again, just definitely run that suppressor on. It helps out a lot. I mean, once you get an extra mod slot, I recommend, you know, running something like Extended Ammo or Gun Runner just because it is a pistol. You can easily shoot off those shots or Speed Loader. Once again, definitely a variable there in the class setup. 
We run Power Cell just so we can have our phase shift a lot faster. I find that if you have your phase shift a lot more, it'll help you out to, you know, juke the enemies and get around them a lot easier. And if you can juke around them and get a lot, uh, around them a lot easier, then it does help you out. Because the phase shift is honestly the main reason why this class works and why it is so powerful and strong. So we're running Power Cell, and then we've also got Hover, like I said, you can change it up for low profile. I don't play game modes with Titans, I just play Pilots versus Pilots. That's just me. If you play game modes with, you know, Attrition or something like that, definitely you can use Low Profile or Kill Report. It's whatever you like. You can use Wall Hang too, but I just stick with Hover because I really like Hover. I find it, it lets me a little bit me be a little bit more aggressive if someone does find me and compromise in my position. And uh, yeah, the boost I recommend using for this is definitely going to be Mac Pack. I don't have it, but. <laughs> Yeah, just take my word for it, okay? Map pack is that's not even map pack right there, okay? Map pack is pretty much where you can see the enemies through the walls, you know, you can just basically get a glimpse of where they are and see them. So, definitely, if you are going to go for assassinations, which is, why they, which is what I did, sorry, then you know, you can definitely get them. And I actually got inner pieces in about like three games of me actually trying this, so you can definitely get around five to ten. To maybe even 20 assassinations in one game with this class and it really does help out see you guys if you did enjoy this video make sure you do leave a like as well subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow for another video definitely check out this class guys it's insanely strong for getting assassinations and sneaking up behind the enemies peace